Okay, this is an RC circuit problem. This will be about a stroboscope light, strobe light. Okay, here's a image of it and roughly this is what it would be doing. Usually used at the clubs. It just simply flashes on and off at different rates. Okay, this is our RC circuit. And this is how the process happens. At first our capacitor is uncharged. So when the system is turned on, the battery starts charging the capacitor. Then when the electric field inside the gas filled bulb reaches a point where the gas ionizes, this will flash very brightly and it will cause the capacitor to discharge and after this the cycle repeats battery charges the capacitor the gas bulb causes the capacitor to discharge and on and on and on at a different frequency the gas breakdown in this bulb occurs at a voltage of 250 volts Okay, the problem is asking us to find the time for the capacitor to charge to 250 volts and then it's asking us to find the frequency of the flashes. Okay, to start we're gonna use this formula. I'm gonna write it down just so we can see easier what we're gonna substitute out. There you go. Now, instead of the Q and Q final, we're going to use Q equals CV. So we're going to substitute CV into this formula, which will give us CV equals CV final. This is Q final, so this will be V final. The rest stay the same. 1 minus E. T over RC. There you go. Now we see that we have a capacitance on both sides. We can cancel it out. We can divide V final to the other side. So we're going to have V over V final. The parentheses stays on this side and nothing changes. There you go. Now we're going to move the 1 on the other side and multiply the whole thing by negative 1. One minus V over V final equals E on the power of negative T over RC. Now we're going to take a natural logarithm of both sides. So ln 1 minus v over v final equals the natural logarithm and the e cancel each other out. So all we're going to have is negative t over r c. Now we're going to solve for the t. That's what we've been asked to find. I'm going to come up here. t equals negative R C L N 1 minus V V F there you go now we can just plug in the values that we have negative our R is 2.35 times 10 to the fifth ohms times our capacitance 0 0.250 microfarads or we could instead of the micro let's put times 10 to the negative 6 times what we had in the parentheses I'm gonna write it down here LN 
1 minus our voltage is 250 volts and our V final will match the EMF which is 300 volts. There you go. If we calculate this it will give us 0 0.105 seconds. This is what our time is for the capacitor to charge. So as we can see our capacitor takes this long to charge. It would go all the way up to 300 volts but the light bulb ionizes, becomes conductive and it discharges it at 250 volts. So this time is for charging it from 0 to 250. Now frequency. For part B we are asked to find the frequency of the flashes. Basically the number of flashes that occur per second. The formula is for the frequency that is 1 over our time that would be 1 over what we found here 0 0.105 seconds per flash and this would be 9.51 flashes per second or we could say 9.51 hertz there you go